Hi there, Toy here. It's time to wake up to movies and coffee, apparently. Seriously though, I um I wanted to make this video before it got too late in the year and I am not feeling well. But since I didn't finish my videos for 2017 for this very reason where I didn't feel well and I didn't have time and stuff like that I decided to just go ahead and make this video even though I look a little busted hopefully you will forgive me <laughs> but like I said I didn't want to wait too late in the year to do this video so I'm so sorry <sighs> but <laughs> I've been meaning to do this and so I had some time on a Saturday morning and here we are I'm going to talk about some of the um, books that are going to be turned into movies in 2017 or might be. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, the first one is, well, I don't think these are in order. I don't know. But these are, some of these are confirmed, some of these are unconfirmed, and I'll tell you that. So the first confirmed one is uh, Maze Runner, The Death Cure. That's, I guess, the third movie. Um, I never read this book series. I did see the first movie. I did not see the second movie. So this is not one that I am like really looking forward to. If I ever go back and watch the second one, then, I, then at some point I'll watch the third one. That's kind of a thing I do. Um, I feel like you can watch the first movie in a series and stop right there. But once you've seen the second one, you might as well just see the rest of them. Okay, so the next one is Every Day. Uh, this one is not one that I've even heard of, but it sounds interesting. I don't know how I missed this book, but um, I do know that it's supposed to be released sometime this year in 2018. So if I ever um, get around to picking it up, great. But if not, I might at least check out the movie. We'll see what happens. Uh, the next one is A Wrinkle in Time. I am excited about this. I'm going to tell you why. Like, I never read... The original series it was always something that I meant to do and never got around to and then last year I believe was um, a chance for me to read the graphic novel and the graphic novel was okay like I really feel like it was if I had read the book I would have been into the graphic novel even more I mean the artwork was great and it's a very interesting story don't get me wrong but I really do think it was one of those things where if you had no experience with it it might or might not work out for you. Needless to say, I'm very excited about the movie because it's one more excuse for me not to go back and read the book. Um, I've read the graphic novel, now I get to watch the movie, yay! <laughs> uh, the next one is Ready Player One, and I have read this book and I'm so excited for the movie. This is one of those things where they are going to either do a really great job or they're gonna make a lot of people mad. I'm just putting it out there. Uh, Ready Player One is a great book. It was one of my favorite reads of whatever year I read it. And so i um, very excited about the movie. Okay, so the next one, I'm not sure if it's been confirmed for 2018. I think they're working on it. So it may or may not come out in 2018. And that is The Hate You Give. And um, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I've seen so much about this book. It's been all over BookTube. It's been all over TV. And it's, you know, it deals with a lot of racial issues and police brutality and all that kind of stuff. And it's one of those books that I buy and never read because I'm terrified to read it. And not because I'm afraid of the content that's in it. I'm afraid of my reaction to the content. I don't know. Some people love to read these intense dramatic stories that are a reflection of, a reflection of reality. But I'm one of those people where... I live this drama, so I don't necessarily want to read about it. Reading is a chance for me to escape. Don't get me wrong, I think these kinds of books are very important. I hope people keep writing them. I just may not read them, which means I also may not watch the movie for that same reason. I don't know. Sometimes it boils down to black people showing up to the theaters to support black movies, and I'm totally down for that, but I might sit with my eyes closed. I don't know. It's still too early to tell, but I'm just being honest, people. The next one is Dumplin', which this is a book I found on my Kindle. I forgot that I did. I saw the premise of this and downloaded it on my Kindle and have never read it. It's not on my current TBR. 
And so I may or may not read it before the movie comes out because this one is unconfirmed for 2018. It may or may not be coming out in 2018 and or may or may not be coming here yet, but there's buzz about it. It's out there. So yeah, look into Dumplin'. Maybe it's coming. Uh, another one um, that may or may not be coming out in 2013, in, <laughs> in 2018, I told you people, I'm not feeling well and I'm tired. But I'm pushing forward. The next one is to all the boys I've loved before. This is uh, Believe a Young Adult Contemporary Romance that I've seen all over book too. It seems like a really cute book. Um, again, not typically the kind of thing that I would read, but I've heard so many good things about it. This is one of those that if my niece wants to go see it, I might go see it with her. Otherwise, I'll wait for it on streaming and I may or may not ever read the book. You know, we'll see. It's one of those things that's, you know, you know, you never know. And the next one, whew, this one is for um, TV, I believe, a, a TV show. Very excited about it. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I have not had cable TV for almost a decade, and I have never missed it. But if this show is slated to come on a cable network, we're going to have to work something out. Because I've heard that they are going to make a television series out of A Discovery of Witches, the All Souls trilogy. And I really enjoy that trilogy. So, yeah, that's supposed to be coming in 2018, unconfirmed, a lot of buzz. Who knows? I'm excited either way. So there you have it. <laughs> I have some place to be, apparently. Um... So yeah, I am going to, oh, well, you know, I think that's a medication reminder because I knew I wasn't feeling good. So I got this video done and I'm so sorry. <sighs> if there's some book to screen adaptation that you want to share with me, please let me know. Um, tell me what you think about the ones I mentioned today, because this is not everything. These are just the ones that I currently know about and I'm no one special. So that's all I have for now. Bye bye.